This storm keeps breaking records. 15 trillion gallons of water have already fallen. Another five or six trillion gallons is forecast before it's over. The longest named storm to torture Texas now in history. I sampled the rainfall rates anywhere between a half of an inch to near an inch and a half of rain per hour. I think this will be historic, one of the worst flooding situations uh, the U.S. has ever seen. As Hurricane Harvey developed in the Gulf of Mexico, it sucked up huge quantities of water and grew into a Category 4 storm before making landfall in Texas. But as the winds diminished and Harvey became a tropical storm, its progress slowed too. It began passing over the state at just two miles per hour, less than half of walking pace. That pushed band after band of torrential rain over the Houston area. Downtown areas of the city have now seen total rainfall in excess of four feet. But with the storm still not moving away, up to 15 more inches of rain is expected to fall in the next two days. The storm, seen here from space, has doubled the previous record for rainfall over Houston. All of this extreme weather could be a calling card for the future as our Earth's climate changes. There's actually not strong evidence to suggest that the frequency of tropical cyclones will change radically in the future. But what is quite sure is the fact that when extreme tropical cyclones occur, like Hurricane Harvey, the amount of rain that falls from them will be even greater. So you, rather than there being more frequent, when they do occur, they'll be more severe. Climate scientists can't say yet whether Harvey began as a result of climate change, but warmer seas and air almost certainly played a role in making the storm worse. This disaster is only starting. It'll go down as the worst rainstorm in recorded US history, something that'll linger in American consciousness for generations. Alok Jha, News at 10.